I'm here and I'm here for you guys. I'm so grateful for the comments on the videos on the YouTube channel. So, so grateful. Uh, I can't even tell you. I, I think I'm going to start one of those like membership things, you know, so I'm just trying to find ways to also keep building the community. But of course, I can't do it um, without it helping me a little bit financially. So, no, what happened? Oh, what happened? You can throw them away. Kid. Good morning. Time to get up. Come on, let's go downstairs and go outside. You ready? You ready? Good morning, Theo. Holly? Holly, what are you doing? Hi. My dad's coming to visit. I just ordered some sandwiches. We're gonna have lunch. He should be here in about a half hour. 45 minutes probably. Early lunch, a nice little random visit on a Wednesday. I'm trying to get in touch with my therapy, which is at noon, which I need to reschedule because I don't want to um, have therapy yet also. <laughs> you know, ah. Uh, so, life is good. Oh. We got delivery of formula. Look at that. We got the slug party. I'm so tired. Me too. Me too. I'm just sitting here wondering when someone's going to feed me my dinner. Are you hungry? Who wants to eat dinner? Nobody wants dinner? What a crew. What? The three of them. They're like tired. You're not feeding them? Okay. You guys are so lazy. How did you do with your new nurse for two days? Pretty good, I think. You did really, really good. What was that? I don't know what I just dropped. Hello. So, the end of the day report is that my ponytail was too tight. So I have to do this. <laughs> um, so, Danielle has a new nurse. And she did Tuesday and Wednesday. So. She was in here getting to know him and his routine and everything. And she's really great. Her name is Kelly. She's very lovely and sweet and nice. And Daniel has done really well with her. And she's very experienced and a very well-trained nurse. So we were very grateful that she joined the team because yay, I get a little more coverage. The other ladies are um, rearranging some schedules but I'll have more coverage in general uh, especially after after the you know the vacations and all that we're going to the Cape again next week and I'm looking forward to getting him up there and going swimming again doing things with Daniel 
He's kind of tired. I kind of didn't interfere too much with them today or yesterday. Today, actually, I was going to do more with Daniel and the nurse here, but my dad decided to come to visit me. So he came for lunch and I ran out and got lunch for dad. We ended up having a talk for like hours. Like, we had lunch and then we chatted and just had a nice visit until like five o'clock. And then had dinner and then cleaned up and Daniel got cleaned up. It's been a long day. I was up at 5 a.m. and it's like eight and I'm really tired today. But I did yoga, I did my meditation, I did a yoga class and I spent the day with my dad and yeah, life is good. I can't complain. I'm very grateful for more helpers. I had a little bit of a problem. Let's see what else happened today. So I put the order in the other day for all of Daniel's feeding tube supplies and his formula. And I found out that his Kate Farms peptide 1.0 is now unavailable. So I was like, oh my God, because they sent me the wrong kind. I'm like, what is this? It's the, the pediatric one. So I called and she said the regular Kate Farms 1.0, which she's been on now for, so the shortage happened in February. We did Neo Kate for March and then we did, uh, couldn't get anything for April. So we switched to Kate Farms April, May and June. He did pretty well on it for like three months. And then come July 1st, I went to order it for July and they're telling me, sorry, it's way back ordered. So they advised me, the dietitian and the place, to hang on to the Kate Farms Pediatric, which they sent, because it's, it's basically the same product. It's just in smaller containers and it has a vanilla flavor. I actually tasted it. It's not that bad. <laughs> Tastes like a protein shake. Um, it's like a vegan protein kind of thing. So anyways, I'm hanging on to that. I have eight cases of his Kate Farms normal stuff because they overloaded me. They were sending us too much in the beginning and then we had to fix his prescription because he was, it was too much calories for him. Too many calories rather. So yeah, the long story short is we're back to having a shortage of his food again. And honestly, it's crazy. And I'm, I'm hoping and, and the supply company said, we think it's just a temporary thing. It's not like a major, major back order. So call us in, you know, a week, call us in another week, see if you can get it. Yeah, here we go again. That and today also one of his seizure meds, the pharmacy keeps telling me it costs $371. And through both insurances that he has, he shouldn't have any co-pays ever. It always covered it before, so now I'm trying to get in touch with neurology because I don't know what to do. I gotta call the insurance company and all that tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be my self-care day. I was gonna get my hair done. Well, I am getting my hair done, uh, tweaked, you know, get my highlights nice. And I was gonna get my toes done because they're bad. And uh, yeah, I got more things to do here. Then I got a pack because we're leaving on Sunday for another two week time at the beach in Massachusetts. So, it is the way life goes. Got some mood lighting, mood lighting for Daniel. Nice at his fireworks picture. He needs a new blanket in his bed. He only has a sheet. I gotta get him a blankie. We washed your blankie. Because you had a formula spillage morning. Why are you blurry, baby boy? Here we go. Hi, bud. Are you awake? You sleeping? You having sweet dreams? Good night, friends. We'll see you soon. Bye. Playing along, Can you making music. Can we get out of the flowers?
I am recording, uh, writing rather. I was just recording me writing and I just got into this rhythm and this like, happens, it happens sometimes, right? With writing, just it just starts pouring out of you like anything. So I just wrote a podcast episode about, I'm calling it Tools for Survival and Adapting. Just trying to, you know, I've been trying to think of ways to share with other people what has been helping me and kind of the transformation that's been happening. Um, and the first tool that I'm talking about in here is the one that's been most life changing for me over the past like three years, and that's my meditation practice, which started off really small and, you know, inconsistent and then just became more and more valuable to me to the point where now I get up every day extra early and I created a whole meditation area at what they call sacred space and now it's just like a way of life and the things that I've learned in the process of doing meditations like just just being open to the synchronicity of things you know one suggestion can lead to something else and somebody can suggest a book and what I'm talking about is in uh, the app that I listen to. So you can just, you can meditate just in silence. You can meditate however way you want, right? But I really enjoy listening to coaches who do courses in um, guide, guided meditations. And in Insight Timer, if you're a premium member, which I became like a year ago, um, you can take courses. You can even sign up for workshops, things like that. And in the courses it's endless how many different things I mean you can just go in there at any time and just look at all the different topics if you want to learn if you want to learn about Buddhism or if you want to learn about just how to be mindful if you whatever it is and they they're 5 10 15 20 25 30 long long ones short ones whatever you're looking for you can do so I just listen to my intuition and it guides me to like things just pop up like right in my face like Right now I'm doing one on creating your morning ritual and I don't know why I fell on that one. It's a 10 day course. Each each listen is like 15 minutes. Some of them are less, some of them are longer, but it's just like 15 minutes a day. And so I have a journal and in my journal, I write down things I learn as I go through each course. Uh, some of them have been fantastic and I've done them over and over. Uh, I have several different topics and then some days I'm just like, all right, I don't want to really do the gratitude one right now. I'd really want to do this one. Some have music, some don't, that kind of thing. So I just listen to my intuition and it seems to guide me to what I need. Um, I have many books and journals now full just since the past so year and a half <laughs> of things I'm learning while I'm journeying, I call it. And it's really helping me with my entire life and the skills that I need and the places that I'm going in my head and what I want to do. And anyway, I I was just writing. So you can listen to the podcast when I talk about it. It'll be episode 15. And that's that. I get to print it now. And what I normally do is I, my process is I kind of brainstorm some ideas and then I print it out, come back, and then I'll record when I'm, you know, able to really calm things down in the quiet of the room yeah so I'm here and I'm here for you guys I'm so grateful for the comments on the videos on the YouTube channel so so grateful uh, I can't even tell you I think I'm gonna start one of those like membership things you know so I'm just trying to find ways to also keep building the community but of course I can't do it um, without it helping me a little bit financially so it's kind of hard it's like I need to start making it be a tool that will also continue to grow. Um, same thing, you know, it's same thing with the podcast. I don't have it monetized yet, though, because I'm trying to let it build up a little bit in terms of downloads and people listening. But I want to give back. I want to start doing more things for people. And, um, yeah, so connect with me just I, I am so grateful when I see comments pop up and I apologize if I don't always respond but I feel your energy I feel that 
and in just seeing the viewers that have watched the videos and the numbers going up I can I'm just so grateful <laughs> so thank you very 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 much so I'm gonna be back later we'll check in on Daniel downstairs but I'm gonna print my um, Adapted Life podcast season 1 episode 15 tools for survival and adapting Julie's Adapted Life toolkit first meditation so that's that's the next one fun times and it's not going to be a meditation. It's going to be about about the topic of, and you know, happy happy. So maybe you can suggest it to someone who's having stress. The Adapted Life podcast, another caregiver, another person who's struggling. Um, those are the people I want to encourage, and I hope I do. I don't know. I hope I do. Why am I? I'm like hunching underneath my camera. <laughs> I need to sit up. Work on the shoulders. Do, 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 do. I love being in here. It's so happy in here. But I gotta turn a light on. It's dark. <laughs> Hello, little partners. Where's my other little partner? Holly, honey, I think you need a bath, baby girl. What do you think, everyone? I think she's kind of, you can't really see her here, but she's yellow. She needs a bath. Oh. You want a bath? Want to go in the tub? What you doing? You need to go outside, get some exercise? Come on, let's go, little dogs. Let's go downstairs. I keep this here to keep the dogs from coming in there when they nap. They only get the privilege when it's allowed. Outside. Ready? Come on. Oh my gosh, Henry. He just plopped down. He's like, I am not moving. Okay, cutie tootie. Spirit didn't like my uh, 